making the order by from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And, and speaking of dropping, uh, uh, Doctor Who dropped a new episode yesterday. I think drop is the, the perfect term for it because, boy, didn't do very well. Didn't do very well in the ratings. I normally start recording my videos around between 9 and 10. I aim for 9. I, I normally get to by about 10. But that, that, that's the normal goal. It's just gone 2 o'clock because I have painstakingly rewatched the freaking episode again. All right, listen, that, that I suffer for you so greatly, you should, be very, you should be very grateful. But anyway, I digress. I got over, I was at 518 screen grabs illustrating the... Uh, incompetent mess <laughs> that that was uh uh, uh even the dust although i do want to be very clear i want to be very complimentary to the director she's a first time director knocked it out the park i mean she she uh, she really uh, she was a diversity hire just keep her because she is freaking awesome she took a a a terrible script i mean lit really really a terrible script full of insane plot holes i mean again we're going to go through this you know painstakingly together uh and made i would say a reasonably entertaining hour that if you're glancing at it from the corner of your eye if you're a normie right if you're not really paying attention which i think is quite good i mean i think she has quite a good future uh, uh ahead of her the lighting was really excellent now, listen i want to be positive where i can be uh and uh i'd love to see her do like low budget horror sci-fi movies like i think she's got a real 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 talent for it uh yeah listen listen she's a real fine but I, other than that <laughs> not so good so yeah yeah the overnights just came out before i started uh, uh recording this lowest ever now when i say lowest ever i'm talking about lowest ever for a um holiday episode i'm talking about lowest episode ever i mean like oh that might not be true one sec could probably got a couple of lower lower rated overnights but his catch up was double to triple what Joe, uh, Jody gets. So it came out as a 3.1. I was expecting minimally over four. I thought they would end up with about six by the time they end up with consolidated. They're going to be lucky if they hit 4.5, which is, yeah, you know, up until Jody Whittaker got the lowest rated episode of all time with uh, um, the Timeless Children, then consecutively kept getting lowest rating episodes ever uh, 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 over and over and over and over again. Uh, um, this is this is this is really this is really bad. It's really bad. Not that it matters. Not that it matters. This is a lame duck session of Doctor Who. Fine. Uh, I've watched it, so you don't have to. So I'm going to go over the whole thing with you. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I've just seen it again. Okay, and I've I've made notes, and it it's really really uh, really really bad. Fine. Before we get into it, can you hit the like button? That'd be really good. Listen, mate. I've I've earned my money today, which is free. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the share button. Hit that subscribe button that'd be fan dabby double dozy like share subscribe comment comments are always great sign up to my sub stack it's in the uh, uh video notes sub stack is like an email list i put out comic books on there a comic strip i put a really good one out there the other day there's a paid version which people are paying for already so i've got to put content out of that hopefully today <laughs> I, I wasn't planning on launching it for a couple of weeks i've got this insane trailer uh, a problem being made for me it's it, it, it's so good i can't it is the inverse of this episode of Doctor Who. It is so insanely good, right? I can't wait to it, it. But it's so good, I don't want to, like, you know, blow my load. <laughs> she cried. Uh, uh, you know, with, you know, with it too. So, so like, share, go Join my sub stack. It's free, okay? It's free. You get you keep updated on, on, on all my videos. You can comment on them. You get, well, I'm putting in extra stuff like novels and comics. And then for the paid one, you get a good 50 pages of real... I was a first-rate comic strip, uh, uh, you know, every month for that money, and you know, I hope, hope it just grows and grows and grows. The, the more subscribers we get for that, the better stuff I can give you, which is really what I want to do. I just really want to make really good comics. That, that, that's, if you're talking about what do I want, I, love, I really want to make good comics. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, comics, uh, co comment, 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 a comment on comics. Like, share, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you're on Rumble, hit that Rumble button. If anybody can, do, can direct me to where they can, I can find the rumble button. I'll rumble on my own ones, but I don't know what that means. Uh, um, and I think that's everything I, I'm begging you to do for me. And let me tell you, oh my God, I've earned my bloody money, as I said today. Can I, can I watch this so you don't have to? Like, like, look, this isn't real Doctor Who. I, I think it's fair to call it not real Doctor Who. It, it, it it's we're just treading water and i i yeah we do know the the sea devils are coming back for the next special line everyone's going no don't ruin the sea devils think of it this way 
the, Ch Chris Gemmell's using up his budget to make new costumes for the Rusty Davis Doctor Who that's coming soon, and this is all going to be washed away forever. I believe it's all going to be washed away forever. Why? 3.1 overnight. That's why. I, and I believe that's why Rusty Davis is, is coming back to Doctor Who. I think it's... I think Christian was doing such a bad job. It's actually tarnishing his reputation because he's intrinsically tied to Doctor Who. I really think that's what's going down. Fine. Let's start talking about the episode. So, uh, uh, dunk starts like this. Now, I fervently believe this was filmed uh, to be a Christmas special or a New Year special, but they lost the Christmas special slot. Um, actually, probably would have done much better on Christmas Day. I'll be honest with you. I think they had to re they had to film. About three or four lines of dialogue twice. Like one to say, oh, it's New Year's Eve. One to say, oh, it's Christmas Eve, right? I think that's what happens. So it starts off. Well, first it starts off and it's starting late. And I'm going, oh, thank God. Thank God. It might be shorter, right? Maybe it's only 55. No, it goes late. Uh, but, you know. And then they have an ad for The Wheel, which did a lot better than it in the in the overnights. So, uh, this game show, which is the only thing you really see on British TV now. Um, this game show. And the, the end is basically, I know what we got coming up is shit, okay? I know, but stick with me. Uh, 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 just don't t touch the dial. We've got something good coming on soon. This will be over soon. Over soon. Fine. So then it starts off with this weird crooning music. Um, like lounge singer. This woman lounge singer music. I know. Honestly, they did the same thing in uh, Star Trek Discovery two weeks ago. I haven't seen this week's episode yet. God, I gotta, I gotta start getting screen grabs and writing notes on that as well. I, I honestly, I, I should, I should have a, uh, uh, you know, a, like a bat phone hotline to suicide hotline. The amount, the amount of turgid stuff I'm watching. So this is Elf Storage. Yeah, 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 and that's about the limit of the humor we get. Um, and we see all these, all the Christmas decorations are still up. And in walks, uh, 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 was it Aisling B? Aisling B, I'm not sure her name. She's called Sarah. She's called Sarah in this. And she's bitching at Jeff, right? Now, there's so many rules of writing and comedy that, I mean, just basic, basic rules of writing and comedy that they, uh, uh, they, they destroy in this. It's just, it's, it's so, again, the script is abysmal, right? As a comedy, as a science fiction, as a piece of drama, as anything other than an irrelevant piece of children's television for dumb children, this is this script is terrible. So she's bitching at, at Jeff, who's let her down and goes, oh, I've got plans, oh, it's new. you know it's New Year's Eve, you know I have plans, and you let me down again, and every year you do this, and every year it's the same thing. Well, fire him, you stupid bloody woman! Right, and especially when you see what else is going, nothing makes sense. Okay, nothing makes. There is no internal consistency or reality to this. So she let Jeff down again on New Year's Eve, and she says, "You know I have plans." But it, 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 as it appears later, her mother thinks she's a bit of a loser, and she needs to find a man. She needs to get, you know, get out there. Uh, uh, and then, and then her mother's prayers are answered because uh, as she's arguing, uh, this weird gentleman Nick arrives. Now, Nick is an example of everything that's wrong with Doctor Who under Chris Chibnall. See, the problem is... the what, Okay, the reason why I think it's... Um, it just Okay, whether you like the, the these eras or not, whether you like the Rusty Davis era uh, uh, or the Chris Chibnall era, that, that's not really the point, right? Uh, uh, I, I, know, I, know, I know a lot of people out there just really never like New Who at all, which is cool. Look, each to their own. Every, every, every should have their own opinion and be proud to have their, 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 own, their own opinion. But I'm just talking in terms of, like, technical drama, right? Technical drama. The, um, uh, the major difference between Rusty Davis... I mean, other than matters about the talent. The major difference is that Russell T. Davis... Uh, um, understands human beings and uh and you know interpersonal relationships and christian will truly truly doesn't which th this character is a real expression of so this guy is nick uh he's kind of there's supposed to be the romantic hero he's not we're gonna find out as the, as as it goes on he's a creepy serial killer stalker kind of guy i mean yeah i mean and again, I don't want to tar everybody with the same brush, but the, uh, the Jodie Whittaker era, other than bringing terrible scripts and awful acting, right, it also brought in a whole new group of fans who are just ha have no relationship to humanity or decency whatsoever. These are the absolute worst people uh, uh, that that humanity has ever produced, and they always like. I'll give you an example. They 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 they, they really enjoyed at one point about a year ago. Ganging up and calling me a, a, a paedophile, right? Uh, which is, listen, look, don't get me wrong. 
I, I, I enjoy sex. <laughs> I do enjoy sex. And I do enjoy bathing. But it was just this ridiculous thing went on and on. And then the person, it was a guy, guy named Tom, right? The guy who organized this group of people, uh, this, this, this Twitter group, to basically just monitor other Doctor Who fans' communications and then lambast them if they weren't bending the knee to the current era and saying any any form of criticism whatsoever. I mean, literally, I, I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds insane, but that actually did happen. So anyway, this bloke, Tom, then gets outed as a sex pest, right? And it's it's not the first time. You know, if you remember the time team in Doctor Who magazine, um, well, they got rid of a time team that was kind of diverse and represented the readership. And then they replaced it with a bunch of these weirdos, right? These weirdos all picked out by uh, uh, Ben Cook, they, a bunch of them ended up being sex pests, and and you you get to find out why by when watching it. It's very similar to the uh, was it? Can you hear me? The the socially awkward line that that Chris Chimmel genuinely felt that was heroic to like uh, try and uh, um, reach out and empathize with these mentally uh, unstable people who live on Twitter, right? Mostly autistic, right? People who live on Twitter and are insane, right? Uh, uh, and they, yeah, yeah, so they don't understand heroism, which I think is probably uh, Jodie Whittaker's problem playing playing Doctor Who. Anyway, this guy, Nick, watch him. He's, he, he comes in being creepy and weird, and it turns out, yeah, he actually is creepy and weird, and then he ends up being the romantic hero somehow, right? So Ailsing B is uh, uh, like, e, you're a weird. Like she no, her attitude is pure hatred towards him because uh, okay, so it comes out that that he's the um, he's their only cli oh, their only client, right? Their only, how does this place stay open? Uh, and there's got this guy, whatever, right? So anyway, so the creepy bloke comes in, Nick. Uh, and he says, oh, I hate New Year's Eve. It must be fun not going out. And she's like, no, I would actually rather go out and have fun. Um, and he comes there every New Year's Eve to, with things to be sort of stored. So then he asks her uh, uh, um, to uh, uh, remind him of the list of things that aren't allowed to be stored. So she 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 reels off a list. She says, you're not allowed to store stolen or illegal goods, tires, animal, humans, dead or alive, cash, plants, food, guns or ammunition, or, or anything that in any way is in any way toxic, hazardous, or radioactive, right? So it just, and she's like, so like, why am I here dealing with you, you weirdo? Like she's pure hatred, which is reasonable, right? Reasonable. And she hates this business. She And she can't stand it whatsoever. She can't stand Jeff. There's nothing she likes about it whatsoever. And it looks like it must be losing money if this is their only client, which they do say, right? So then he says, oh, uh, 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 could you uh, define what hazardous means? And she says, well, something that will probably, you know, like blow up if set on fire. He's like, oh, okay, so uh, uh, I should be okay with this uh, Monopoly board, right? And he's like, that's that's just the board game. And again, look at him. He's so freaking creepy, right? He keeps smiling, like ah, I'm gonna eat you. I, I, I don't understand. And she's like, so I, I think Elzing B is is a normal human being, right? She seems like because she's acting like how a normal human being would act to this creepy weirdo. It's like, what's going on with you? You are a creepy weirdo. Um, so then he's, he goes and gets his Monopoly game to put it into his storage unit. And he says, oh, I won't be long. I'll see you next year. <laughs> and it's like a crappy joke. And, he's like, and he, she's like, yeah, you've been practicing that, have you? And he's like, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, and he's all sad and mopes away, right? Goes away. Um, so I, I, again, I don't understand. They got this, they got a member of staff, Jeff who uh, is awful and doesn't work. And somehow they pay him with the profits made by this one customer who is clearly some kind of creepy serial killer type guy. So so then uh, 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 he gets strange. <laughs> so then we go over the TARDIS and uh, uh, all charisma uh, uh, leaks out. I mean, listen, at least the guy playing uh, creepy weirdo Nick is somewhat charismatic. Like he's actually an actor and he was in bees. He's somebody... Who fun to watch, right? She's got a you know fun rap of her. that all dives out the window because here comes Geordie Whitaker and uh, uh, a scrunch face herself, a uh, man dip girl. So they're fixing the problem. All the remember in the, in the Doctor Who Flux, you probably don't, you haven't seen it in Doctor Who Flux before the Flux attacked, uh, uh, the TARDIS started growing doors in other places and dripping dark goo 
and stuff and they never really explained it whatsoever so they they're never going to because now they're fixing it getting rid of the flopped problems i uh, uh so they're going to reset us and we're going to see how incredibly um negligent this doctor is and she is she's just incredibly negligent uh she says okay so while the tardis resets are going to be out commissioned a bit and we got to get out of here when i pull the fo uh, lever we've only got seven seconds to get out because they're inside as when it resets we're all going to die right so why not have to go outside before you pull that lever i mean like no 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 apparently not so oh we only got seven seconds said hey we better do this quick then so he pulls the lever and then it run run it's actually not a bad special effect as the tardis kind of like uh 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 wheels and implodes and, and uh, 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 around her as she, she runs out, right? Uh, and then it like, it, it kind of like collapses down, we're seeing <laughs> and yeah, this, I, I just assume they're getting a new TARDIS set, right? I'm like, well that's pretty ballsy for the last two episodes, a new TARDIS set. Uh, uh, don't hold your breath. <laughs> okay, so they pile out the TARDIS, they all rush out, apparently not being killed by her massive, massive incompetence and, and negligence. Uh, and they, they look around. They're supposed to go into this speech where they can play chess with the fish and the lobsters or something. Uh, 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 and again, let me may I just show you this expression on Amanda Gill's face? I mean, like she. This is her acting, right? And we, by the way, just telling you up front, we find out what this expression means now in this episode. This expression is, uh, uh, "I love you, Doctor," in a sexual primal way not in a uh uh you know not precise. i love you in a very sexual way but i don't want to admit it to myself or to you right that's what this expression means this is uh soap opera acting uh 101 okay so they get out and they turn around suddenly Donna and gets covered in these cracks and she's like oh that doesn't look good and uh uh um uh was it uh john bishop dan is like is that supposed to happen now right, right kids that normal and she's like i don't know i've never done this before i mean like gee like as you as the title like melts in front of them and uh, and and yaz is like what, what? I, again yaz knows how how insanely incompetent this doctor is uh uh but doesn't really matter right so um they worked out they're they're in they're not where they should be of course they're in uh uh manchester on new year's eve nine minutes to new year's eve uh uh and they're like oh bloody hell manchester oh, we'll find a party it'll be good and this is uh, again uh, if you're not looking at the screen just have a look this is jodie whittaker acting everybody this is how she got the role uh, uh through her amazing acting talents and she's like oh we'll find a party or something it will be icky thump here let me do a bit of the small lecture face ah you like the small lecture face icky thump bit of small lecture and then you know she waves her uh her sonic vibrator around which yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, uh, I said, oh, I'm picking up temporal disturbance two floors above. We should go and check it out. It could be bad. And, and again, look at Mandic Gill's face. This is Mandic Gill acting, right? Uh, somehow. Uh, so uh, it's like, I, I guess we'll go check it out then. And off they go. Uh, running away. We've got to go find it. Now, meanwhile, in this bloke's storage unit, look how huge this is. Like, and wait till you find out what he's storing in there. It 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 is beyond beyond belief. So he puts a monopoly there, and he says it's uh, uh, Simone from November twenty to January twenty first uh, uh, to January twenty twenty one. So that's the amount of time she was chained up in his basement before he ate her, I believe. Right. So again, this all come out. Then the lights go out and, and they have a cool. They don't have it much later. They have a more emergency red light that comes on and he walks out and is going, what's going on? And he sees a Dalek and he's exterminated. Now, these Daleks are the executioner Daleks. Uh, what makes the executioner Daleks interesting? What makes them different? I'll tell you why it's different. Their weapons are a lot weaker. And we're going to see how much, how incredibly weak they are. Their aim is insanely bad, uh, uh, and they're easily killed. So I, I, I don't think they really are executioner Daleks. I think they're kind of like uh, some kind of like mentally handicapped Dalek that they've told is an executioner squad. I think that makes more sense, right? In fact, generally speaking, that makes more sense for the entirety of this era of Doctor Who. This is very much, I mean, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who is the... Ace is the Arnold Rimmer taking on the Ace Rimmer mantle. Oh, Doctor Who! She's freaking awful! Unbelievably bad, right? Um, 
So then downstairs, Elsie and Beers gets a call from her mother, and her mother says, Oh, you should be out with your fucking getting a man. She says, Oh, I don't want a man, mother. Really? Why not? Why not? I, I, I like, like, I, I, what is this idea? Like, why, why do people want to be miserable when alone? And listen, if you're alone, Good for you, okay? It's fine. I don't want to make you feel better. The normative human state for, for human beings is to pair bonding. You know, I think I think the Sontaran subscribe. It's like, and it does, and whatever, if you're gay, if you're straight, whatever. But like, I don't know why she wants to be alone. <laughs> okay, she doesn't want to. Matter. Okay, fine. Uh, and she talk to her mother is a big, duh. So then the elevator starts coming down. Uh, 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 and then the, 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 so the doctor, meanwhile, rushes to where the temporal disturbance is, and they find uh, um, dead Nick, uh, dead, dead Sit Nick, um, real, uh, uh, and and they work out the Dalek killed her. Uh, you know, oh, by the way, he doesn't recognize the Daleks. No, nobody recognizes Daleks anymore. Excuse me, wasn't isn't this right after the flux, right, where most of the universe has been destroyed? The yeah, your dog creatures surrounding the world. Again, yeah, no internal logic whatsoever. Um, so then uh, Elsie B. Here's the, uh, uh, the elevator opens up. And also, are you done, Nick? Uh, and then the Dalek lines up and says, I am not Nick. And I, it's clearly a line they wrote for Nick Briggs to do. Uh, and then they get their, their really, really crappy gun uh, and they shoot Elsie B. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, uh, so then the doctor wrestles out with the uh, uh, Russian said, Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Oh, my sonic screwdriver, I'll stop you. He said, No, you won't. Yes, you have. Icky thump, yes, you have, because I've done it before. Uh, so there you go, because I'm gonna be smug and, and, and sneer at you now. Uh, you see, look at me being smugly sneering. And, there's, and then the Daleks like, uh, uh, Your device will not work. Daleks learn. And they've and they because she's done it before. They know how to stop it. They turn it off, and she's like, uh, "What? Oh, 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 icky thump!" Uh, and it says, uh, and she's like, "No, not like this." Um, da -da 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 -da. The, the, the gun comes out, and um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, oh, happy day! <sighs> Thank you. How this hasn't happened many times over so far is beyond me. Uh, she's exterminated. Uh, yes, goes down last for some reason. Uh, it, it, not, not uh, this is not the first time. She, the only time she goes down last. I don't know why. Uh, uh, and then we're into the title. Dun, 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 Excellent job. Annette, you are hired because your skin color is black and because you have a vagina. That's why you are hired. What a stroke of luck. Even a stop clock twice uh, uh, tells the right time twice a day. They actually managed to pick somebody with talent. Really great work. I, I Please, please do more low budget sci-fi. It's really good. All right. You've done such a great job. I love the work you did with the coloring and the lighting. It's a really great work. Um, why anybody would want to put the name on this is beyond me. So then... They they restarting the time loop again, and they kind of know what's going on. They're like got this heavy deja vu, and they're kind of confused. And he's still a creepy weirdo, uh, and they're finishing each other's sentences. They just kind of move on with life. Uh, Doctor piles out the TARDIS again, and they kind of realize what's going on. Uh, um, and they they realize what's going on as soon as the TARDIS gets gets, gets covered in cracks like this. Uh, and they say, hey, they got the dog. we got to go and save that guy. And they do a bit of running, right? They do a bit of running. This is how good a director is. She is the first person, without using shaky cam, right, has worked out how to make Jodie Whittaker run look convincing. And also, I, I, look, to her credit, to her credit, a good deal of the DNA of Doctor Who is being able to film people running up and down corridors. And, and convincingly, we haven't seen it this entire era, right? This entire, it's not something to be sniffed at, really. I, I honestly did a great job. They made Jodie Whittaker run convincingly. And how you do it is, firstly, they had a thing that goes quickly. And also, they're doing it from a low angle. Normally, they film her from behind and she waddles like a duck. But, like, if you do it from the front, it, 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 it you can do it for, like, a second or so. And it, look, and it, and it look, looks convincing. So they run to get to save Nick. Uh, and Nick uh, uh, remembers the Dalek. He says, oh, my God, I was killed. I better go and save uh, uh, Sarah. So Elsie B, because he's completely in love with her, 
because he's a creepy weirdo stalker. Uh, and then she remembers being killed as well. Said, oh, I think I better make a move. Uh, and she tries to get out, but there's some kind of like false field uh, behind her. Uh, kind of similar to one that was on Discovery the other week as well. Uh, um, so she's like, oh, I can't get out. So she said, oh, no. She starts talking to herself. I better go get a weapon. Let me check Jeff's stuff, right? Let me check Jeff's stuff. Uh, but Jeff came with power. Oh, yeah, here's the thing. We set up Jeff to be the butt of many jokes, but we never see Jeff, right? This is one of the many rules of writing that Chibnall just doesn't understand. For the joke to be funny, like, we need to know Jeff. We need to relate to Jeff. Uh, uh, and we, we never see Jeff. So she talks to herself uh, and says, uh, I've got to get weapons, right? got to go and get weapons. Um, so she runs to Jeff's unit, right? Uh, which at this point we know nothing about, right? Well, you don't know why she's running there. Okay, I've got to run there. But again, reasonably convincingly runs. They find the Monopoly. He drops it. He find the uh, Monopoly board. He dropped there and said, oh, and she can't work out why he's not dead there. What's going on? And again, Mandip Gill, this is her acting. Yeah, yeah, get used to this face. Yeah, I mean, look, she's quite a pretty girl. But why Why does she always look like she swallowed a wasp? I, I don't say why they think it's going to... So here's Jodie Whittaker, her doctor, trying to work things out again. Think Ace Rimmer, I think Arnold Rimmer taking on the mantle of Ace. That, that is this doctor. The retard doctor. I, if you're retarded, I don't mean to insult you. I, I, I do apologize, but she really is. She's like a mentally ill doctor. Jeff runs to save uh, uh, LCB. He can't get out. He's like, oh, no, the barrier hurt my hand. And he looks on the monitor and he sees her run. He said, oh, go there to save her. And he rose and say, go save her. But then the Dalek shows up and he's like, oh, bollocks. And he's exterminated again. Exterminate. And he's down. Uh... So then uh, she makes it to Jeff's unit. Jeff's stuff, keep out. Temporary uh, storage only. You said it was okay, Sarah. Uh, remember on that Tuesday. Again, what, I, I, how is he employed? How do they have the money to pay him? And why has he not been fired? All right? I, I just, whatever. I don't really get it, but whatever. So she goes and looks at his unit. And, and he's got more than one. She turns it on. There's all these stuffed animals in there. And it's supposed to be really funny because you're supposed to have taken notes when she uh, listed the things that aren't allowed in the storage unit, uh, uh, which was animals, right? Live or dead, uh, uh, lots of them. So it goes to the next one, and there's all this, like, weird holiday stuff there. Uh, okay. And she goes to the next one, and it's, like, tins and tins of uh, beans and beef and beans, and they don't like beef and beans. I don't know. See, I find the beef... Uh, beans are more, more, more uh, uh, disgusting part of uh, baked beans. Uh, beans and be beef and beans. But they found the beef the more disgusting parts. And it's like, you're not allowed to keep food here. And it's supposed to be funny, but it's not. Uh, because you don't know who Jeff is and you don't care. And then they come across the Dalek. And she's like, no! <coughs> no, just no. You're not going to uh, kill me because it's my... my uh, uh, <coughs> my premises, and that's just the way it is, and you're not going to do it. And then she begs her, please don't kill me, and the Dalek kills her anyway. Ah! Uh, Doctor runs and now finds Nick, Nick dead somewhere else, and she's screwed up, let him die somewhere else. Uh, of course, Mandip finds the, uh, looks on the monitor and sees the dead uh, LCB, and they find the uh, the bubble wrap uh, false field. Uh, uh, and uh, again, <laughs> I got these pictures of Mandip uh, uh, acting because it's so funny, right? It's just so insanely funny. Um, the Dalek arrives, right? And, and then the Dalek says to uh, uh, Dan, the inferior human will be quiet. And, and, uh, and he's like, who are you calling inferior? Like, and, 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 <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's like, well, you kind of are, aren't you? I, I, I don't understand. Like, I, like, this is humor written by somebody who doesn't understand basic humanity, <laughs> like basic humanity 101. And oh boy, are we going to find out how much they don't understand it? Um, and the Daleks show up and exterminate uh, them again. Again, yeah, Yaz goes down last for some reason, but thankfully she goes down. Reset, and we're back again. And now it's uh, 11.53. We're moving forward. It, the, the, the loops get small. So here, here's the other uh, really important rule, right? You've got to make the rules of your time loop clear and simple. 
clear and simple. The, the rules of these time loop are neither clear nor simple, right? It, not at all. It's, I, I, don't, I don't understand how they thought this was going to be a good idea. It's really confusing. The time loop gets shorter each time and, there's, uh, and they can remember stuff from it. Uh, and uh, different people have different ability. Uh, again, again, no internal consistency, but it's getting shorter. Uh, uh, and so she goes and looks at the monitor and then she's a dollar come here. Wow, wow. Uh, so then she goes running to Jeff's place to find weapons again, which there aren't any. Uh, and they start running and, oh, we got to maybe not screw up this time. So they're running. Uh, Nick's running. Uh, uh, and they bump into each other. It's a clip from the 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 tra uh, the trailer, the extended trailer. And uh, they compare notes and say there's a robot trying to kill us. Uh, and we've been killed twice already. And what's going on? He's like, that makes sense. And then they uh, they they meet uh, the fam, the new fam 2.0, and she uses a psychic paper to be inspectors. And it's like this New Year's Eve. There's three of you. Tip bloody typical council. Uh, and uh, uh, Yaz Yaz goes to you know condescending mode, uh, like super condescending mode because that's what Yaz does. Um, uh, and, and, and so then, yeah, Ben, they have the whole clip from the trailer that says, it's not a robot, it's a Dalek. And how do you know their name? Okay, th I think Elsin B wrote that line, right? Because it's a funny line, well delivered. Uh, uh, and, oh, there you are. Then, again, she's got her delivery. It's really, really quite a very good. And the director, again, making use of this very small uh, location, really, they really did a great job. Why was she crying afterwards? Was this like, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, and she's like, yeah, you can jump in anytime you want. It's like, I don't really understand either. Uh, so she's then she info dumps about Daleks and says, uh, you know, they, they'll kill it. They'll kill anything that doesn't share their image. And the Daleks show up and they could kill all of them, but they miss because these are the super executioner Daleks. They're not, they're not mentally handicapped Daleks. Obviously not that I'm told they're executioners. That would just make sense. Uh, and so they run away because the Dalek can't sneak up on them and shoot them because... Because uh, they got these terrible guns that don't really work. Uh, so then Nick says, "No, I'll save you, Sarah." Elsie and Beach is like, "Get off me, you weirdo! What are you doing?" It's like, "Okay, you go in front." It's like, "Uh, uh maybe not, right?" So then they go. They're running and they're running because the Dalek can't get them. And, okay, here's where it gets really weird, really stupid, really stupid, and really creepy. They run into uh, Nick's. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, what was it? Um, a storage space, right? And she's like, "Oh, where's the way out?" Says that there is no way out. It's just, there's just where we came in. That's a, there's a, there's always a way out. Says no, this is solid brick. There's no way out. Uh, uh so uh, then she's all mad. Well, let me come up with that. So here, pay attention, everybody. The Dalek goes out is outside the door. This normal corrugated door. Like, let's look at this. Just a normal door. Nothing, nothing funky about it, just a normal door. And the Dalek says, we know how to wait, us Daleks. Why not just blow it up and walk in? Right? <laughs> they kill everybody. I did, like, really? And they're like, oh, we've got to work out what to do. So it gives them some time to think. Uh, and while they're in there, they look around and they go, what, what are you storing in here? And it's got Lucy. She, he dated from February 08 to March 08. Um, Nicole, December 16 to May, uh, when was that? 20? Wow, he dated, how long was it? Nicole was from, okay, he dated, he dated her from, for a good, uh, four years. That's weird. Uh, 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 okay. And it's all this stuff, uh, uh he says, well, these are all my ex-girlfriend things. I keep them in case they want them to go. And look at these shoes there. Uh, and they're all like, what the hell? Why are you keeping all this stuff? He's like, well, they might want it back. He says, are these girlfriends still alive? Well, of course they are. Really? No, this is super, super stalkery, right? And they're like, I, I, I think this is a bit weird. Quite frankly, I think this is a bit weird. Um, uh, and, and, and so then uh, LCB just like kind of loses it. So why are you always creeping around? And they're like, well, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? You weirdo. Yeah, she calls him weirdo. 
But that's a bit harsh. How is that bloody harsh? He comes there every every New Year's Eve. Uh, uh, it makes me stay here because Jeff is never here. Uh, and, and, you know, it ruins my day. And he just is a weird, creepy, creepy guy, right? Uh, meanwhile, the doctor's looking for a, a way out somewhere else. And so she really, like, loses it. Said, yeah, like, I, I, why didn't you just have a life? You're here just to do this. You're bringing my life just for this. It's her only customer. And he's like, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, and then he goes to leave. And the dog's like, no, you can't go. That's the thin door. It's the only thing saving us from the Dalek. Uh, uh, but he goes out anyway. And he says, I, I, I'll tell you what. Why don't you just kill me and you let the others go? And the Dalek's like, why don't I just kill you all? Uh, and he's like, you can't reason with it. So, oh, I don't really care. I want to die now because this woman I don't know said I'm a weirdo. Uh, uh, and uh, Dark was like, okay, you can die. And so they run back inside uh, and close the, the, the door again because <laughs> that'll do the trick. Uh, um, her mother uh, phones again. Uh, th there's quite a good joke about her mother. Like she always calls five minutes before midnight because she won't call her on midnight because the phone lines will be too be, be, be too busy. I'm like, yeah, not since you know 1972. It's like we have to get through five. Uh, and Joan is doing a bit of acting there. Uh, get, look, get, look at these faces. I mean, like, <sighs> I don't know. So the Dalek, a Dalek, is now decided he can blast his way through the door. And he starts slowly trying to do that with the special gun uh, uh, and doesn't really get very fast. He's fly, firing away. And you can see it like glowing red behind her. Uh, so she's like doing a, 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 an info dump. Uh, and, and finally, uh, you know, saying, well, you know, trying to explain what's going on badly. The Dalek blows up the door. And then they actually have the line say, oh, look, you're the most evil, powerful race in the galaxy. You conquered you vanquished this door this normal door i like what okay i i don't understand but she has is a little bit smart smug as and goes oh um and, and honestly she's more arrogant than the dalek right she really is more arrogant than that she sneers away at them uh i said oh you can't get us you're the we're the best and you're the worst oh and then then the dalek kills them all <laughs> It's like okay, and we reset once again, once again, um, and they all rush uh, and they go there. And now there's one minute shorter. Now they got six minutes. Uh, the Dalek then appears, uh, teleports in next to uh, Sarah Elsing B, and starts firing at her. But it's okay. They're they're the special execution of Dalek. So again, they can't kill her from this range. Like like uh, look like let it know. She she's able to run away because. She's able to run away. Uh, the doctor and fam make it to the elevator and say, oh, no, there's two Daleks now. Uh, uh, and Dad's like, stops the, turns the elevator to the second floor and says, I'll deal with the one in reception. I'll catch you on the next loop, right? Um, and off he goes. He's stunning and brave. Uh, he goes out to find the Dalek. Meanwhile, he's by a storage unit. Uh, he meets uh, uh, LCB, who now is like racked with guilt for him going to kill himself. After she said, she says, you're a creepy, bloody weirdo. And he is a creepy, bloody weirdo. I don't want to tell you. He is a creepy weirdo. Um, uh, and so she's like, well, don't do that. I was wrong. And then they go and They're supposed to go and meet at the fifth floor. But she says, no, just come on. We're going to try and get out, right? We're trying to get out. So Dan finds a random box and he goes to the Dalek. He says, yeah, he's so... He, it's actually not a bad scene if it was CBBs. Uh, um, so Dan uh, uh, says he's here to store his stuff, and he's like saying, "What are you like? It's so like uh, automated worker or some sort." And like he like taps the thing, and the like, "Do not come here." So when you get here, said I've been here for one point seven rows, uh, and so then we get to see how bad it is. So uh, Dan has worked out if he just walks around the dial, that they can't shoot him. Right, the dial keeps trying to shoot him, and he just keeps walking around and around. Uh, uh, and then the Dalek uh, uh, says, ah, wait a minute, I'm detecting chrono energy on you. You must be a commander of the Doctor. And he stops running around, basically killing himself. This is just a delaying tactic. And they shoot Dan. Bye-bye, Dan. Uh, they make it to the basement where they have an exit, and they have a really weird plot point going up. The Dalek is there, and they go and hide. So they have a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart at this point. And uh, uh, um, so Nick is so. Uh, what was it Nick? So, so she says, "Why do you come every year 
You know, uh, I mean, she apologizes for be, be, being a bitch to him. But why do you come every year? And at first, she said, first she tells him, "Look, I, I, beforehand, I, I when you thought I was going to try and save you, which is a point plot point I, I skipped because who gives a shit? Um, like I was actually pr- running to get out, trying to find find, find a weapon. Uh, um, so it was like she apologizes for being a bitch. Meanwhile, uh, um, oh god, yeah, this is a bit of a painful scene as well. Uh, uh, Yaz uh, says to the doctor, "Oh, we're never gonna have that special time on the beach. The special time on the beach, really, darling. Uh, where you'll tell me all the secrets and what happened to you." Uh, and it's like, "Yeah, of course we will." So then they find Jess' storage unit, uh, and um, oh yeah, they were all supposed to meet up there, but uh, LCB and Nick uh, uh, went to the basement because there's an exit there. So he looks around and first one he finds lots of these stuffed animals and then all the holiday stuff weird and then all the uh, beef and beans which and then they find another place where Jeff is living apparently this is now his, his, his apartment and then there's another green room with weird highly volatile chemicals and she uh, she quotes uh, uh LCB's description of what is uh, hazardous and says oh something they'll probably blow up with it like she didn't even hear the speech like, there is no rule of comedy or drama or just coherent writing that that this show applies to. It's, it's, it's so bizarre. It's as if they have no script editors working on them whatsoever. Um, so the Dalek shows up again and starts shooting at them, but they're, they're, they're too quick because it's, you know, an execution of Dalek. You want to watch out for them. Um, so they, uh, uh, LCB and uh, Sarah and Nick make it to the basement. Uh, and they're hiding, and they the the Dalek sees them there, uh, and they oh, and Nick Nick gets exterminated, uh, and so now she's she's upset, and she runs uh, away from the Dalek, and, and somehow and somehow she's again running down corridors, and was it Anita or whatever her name is did a good job. I I, I really want to reiterate that, uh, and she makes it to the door and finds it locked. Or sealed shut so she can't get out and she's exterminated. This is a plot point that's going to be forgotten. Oh, and look at the Doctor and Yes hold hands as they meet the Dalek. Uh, and the Dalek does a bit of an info dump, right? Says, look, we're here. Uh, we only came here because... Uh, um, uh, uh, was it? Yeah, no, we, we, we only came here... Um, hang on a second. Did I, did, did I, did I miss a bit? Uh, okay, fine. Well, yeah. So fine. Yeah, actually, no, I did miss, miss an important bit. We'll get to it in a second. Um. So uh uh uh. So yeah. So at this point, we're getting an info dump about why why the Daleks are here. They're there because they uh sense uh, because the time up wasn't created by the uh, the Daleks. It was created by the TARDIS resetting somehow. We don't know how. Never explained. Uh, and the Daleks sensed it. That's how they knew the Doctor was there. So they sent an execution squad to kill the Doctor. An execution squad. Certainly not mentally disabled Daleks they're trying to get rid of. No, no, no. no. An execution squad uh, because she committed genocide against the Daleks. And she's like, oh, I not really felt some Tarans. And, uh, and they're exterminated. Right? Boom. And the, uh, the loop, loop resets. But before we get back to the loop, we, yeah, fine. We have this like heart to heart with Nick and Sarah. Let me go back over here. Um, where yeah, this is just before he's exterminated. So it's like, say, why do you come here every year, like on on New Year's Eve? Like, well, I, I like what are you doing? He's like, I'm here. I come here just to see you, right? Because I know you're going to be here. Because I know Jeff's always going to let you down. How's he know Jeff's? Always- I don't know. I don't know. I the the whole. Like, you know, way this works doesn't really make any sense. But I, I come here to see you because I know you're going to be here. Uh, I say, how many years have you been doing this? Like, three years. And I'm like, that's very stalker. You see me once a year for three years, and, and you've been coming back here. Like, that's very weird. That's very, very, very weird, Nick. You're a weird stalker guy. You are, again, this is the weird people that like this era, the weird kind of socially awkward autistic sex pest right that, that, that is, so he's like that's that's that, she says that's very stalker that's like you're a stalker and and he's like no i prefer the word unrequited he's like well i'm just shy i'm like yeah no they're shy and they're shy this is weird stalkery behavior um fine next time loop, and they're down to five minutes now um 
All right, so the the uh, the doctor runs down to say, "Where were you? You were supposed to." Be. And this is a favorite like hand gesture that she always puts her arms out. Like again, again, it, it, it's written by somebody who doesn't um, uh, doesn't understand basic human interaction or or you know romance in any way, shape, or form, or or heroism. Played by somebody who doesn't understand strength, uh, strength and heroism. Like for for her. But Jodie Whittaker being being strong, uh, strong, that means she's sneering and angry. She doesn't understand. Why? Because she's a chick, right? She's a chick who's not a good actor. Like, honestly, this is a masculine role. I think the one thing that Jodie Whittaker has proved, this is a masculine role, and, and she's not a good enough actor to uh, get into a masculine side. She's just a major Karen. So anyway, she's so like, well, why didn't you come and see us? Oh, well, we tried to get out because we didn't want to be exterminated again. Uh, so we went to the basement. We found the door, but we couldn't get out through it. Um, so now she says, okay, fine, but we got to go and save, save Nick, uh, uh, because I, I don't know how we worked this out, right? How we worked out these rules of the time loop, but he's always exterminated when there's four minutes to go in the time. Uh, who knew? Okay, I, again, I, nobody, I, who knew this? And so if they start a time loop when he's been exterminated under four minutes, he'll be, won't be there and he'll be dead for good. Again, I don't know how she worked out the rules. So she's like, you got to let me go. Uh, you got to let me go, go and go and save him. And she's like, no, no, I'll go, I'll go. So I'm like, well, you, you, you're useless. Like, I have to tell you, you're absolutely useless. You'll cause this problem and you seem to be a doofus. And the doctor does. Well, firstly, uh, 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 Yaz is a. Uh, oh, yeah, no, fine. So he says, why do I have to go and save him? Because he's a weirdo, right? He's a weirdo. Uh, 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 but uh, wait, I'm trying to. I've got the note, the, the line written down is somewhere. Um, just to save him because he's a weirdo, and weirdos can be a bit of a keeper. No, ladies, run away from people like Nick, right? Like weirdos are a bit of a keeper. So uh, Jody, uh, uh, yes, looks at Joe. Uh, yes, looks at Dan, saying, "Yeah, uh, uh, no." Looks at Joe, said, "Yeah, weirdos are a bit of a keeper." Oh, oh, I want you so badly. And Dan's like, oh, I'm so, well, looking at that. I know what's going on. So again, see, look, this is Jodie Whittaker trying to exert strength. She's bullying, right? She's just bullying. She's like, don't go. And she's like, no, you're you're absolutely useless. You're absolutely useless. He's like, no, you just stay here. Uh, and she runs off to, to get Nick. Uh, um, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, Yaz looks after her, uh, looks after her adoringly. Um, for, uh, 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 and um, so <laughs> then, then, then we get, I don't know, whatever special that's supposed to be. So meanwhile, Nick is confronted by a Dalek. He's confronted by two Daleks, right? And he does not know, and they're going to exterminate, exterminate. So he has the idea of ducking. Uh, uh, and because they're awful, they, they, they shoot each other and they, uh, they, they both... Uh, 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 exterminate each other. So so far, Nick is the alpha male of this group. Mr. Weird, uh, uh, socially awkward serial killer is 100% the alpha male of this group. Uh, and he's like, wow, look at that, I killed them. And you see a bit of a dead Dalek mutant. The Dalek, uh, the doctor shows up and he's like, wow, look at me, I did it. He's like, did you just duck? And look at her face, look, okay, are you really trying to tell me this isn't the Arnold Rimmer of Doctors. Really, look at her. Unbelievable. Uh, so they make it to reception again. Uh, and they, oh, God. And they have, like, uh, they, so they try and info dump and explain everything and come up with a plan. Uh, and it's not very good. And the doctor gives an... They, they, they say, look, we failed at this every time. So now we get less less time each go. But the doctor gives this big inspirational speech. And, oh, we're the best as ever. It's just trying to channel the Tom Baker arc in space uh, speech. And she's just not able to do it, right? Not able to do it at all. Uh, fine. So then the Daleks show up. Uh, da the, uh, the Daleks show up. And she ha and she again. Look at this is her trying to exude strength. It's like it's it's, it's like somebody. It's like a super angry Karen complaining at a, uh, complaining to to a hotel manager. Uh, and the doctor's like exterminate, and they're all dead once again because the doctor's useless. Reset, right? So now they've probably got four minutes left. Dalek shows up. Off she goes running. So oh no, she also goes running. And again, look, the Dalek can't shoot her from that distance. Uh, uh, cause she's, I know. So she gets in the lift and they said the Dalek shoots the lift controls. So now the lift doesn't work. Uh, and she's stuck in the lift alone and she's exterminated and she's dead. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, the power's out. Uh, oh, yeah, because they took out the power. Uh, Nick Ute finds a flashlight somewhere conveniently, maybe from one of his victims, uh, meets a Dalek, and the Dalek now shoots Nick. It's not going well, this cycle. They come out the TARDIS, um, and the, and she's like, stay here! It's a don't keep leaving us! Oh, don't leave me! There's bandit to, uh, uh, uh Jody. No, oh, you gotta stay here! I'm gonna try to save everyone! Oh, and she's, they're all mad. She's always crossing each other again. A hundred percent bad soap, uh, soap opera acting in this. Um... Uh, and it runs off, and then, again, good bit of direction. You see, like, uh, 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 Dan is in uh, um, soft focus, and he comes into hard focus. And eventually, as you see the wonder on Dan goes, are you ever going to tell her how you feel? She goes, I don't know what you mean! I don't know what you mean! He says, yeah, I think you do. I think you do. He says, no, I don't want to say. I don't want to admit it. He's not even to myself. Oh, icky thump. I need to start crying. Oh, icky thump, icky thump. Uh, uh, um... So then Daleks appear behind them, and they're like, it's like, Doctor! And they said, the Doctor will not help you! And they're both dead. Uh, once again, the Doctor finds uh, uh, Sarah Elsing B, and the Daleks show up, and the Exterminator! Didn't go quite well, very well, this, this, even though she gave this very inspiring speech, didn't go that well, did it? So then they're back again, uh, and oh god, so annoying! Again, another thing that's annoying, another rule of writing that Chris Chimnall breaks. Uh, um, they find a bunch of fireworks. This, this, we're about 10 minutes to go now, Like right? We're nearly done. I think we're 12 minutes ago at this point. Uh, and they find a bunch of fireworks, like, you know, the, 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 the ingredient they need to beat the Daleks somehow. I don't even understand how. Uh, and they're like, okay, so fine, we've got to uh, uh, come up with a new plan. Um... Oh yeah, so so then when Yaz is gone, uh, the doctor says, uh, "You know she likes you." Said, oh, yeah, "I don't know what you mean." Uh, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, you do. You know, you know what I mean." And he's like, "Oh, Ecky Thump. Oh, we're we gonna do a bit of scissoring in the TARDIS. I think we're gonna do a bit of scissoring in the TARDIS." And this is the the uh, social justice armor that they clad this episode in to save it, right? That's 100% what, what's going on. Doctor appears, uh, uh, and then they're in the Jeff's weird green room getting the uh, chemicals again, and they like each other. Oh, yes, you're a weird, creepy stalker with, with your victim's mementos in my storage unit and my only customer. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, and at some point he explains his home life. He says, you know, I, I keep... Oh, yeah, when he's showing this, he I want to keep it out my kind of eye line because I don't really have a very big apartment. I just got like really a box room and a bathroom with a kitchen out on top of the bathroom. I'm like, this guy isn't getting any better, right? This guy doesn't seem any more appealing at this point. But she likes him now because he died for because he's a weirdo. Weirdo. And they go to the green room, they get the chemicals, and they all they all come downstairs. Yaza turns up and says, Oh, new plan, we come downstairs. They all come downstairs, uh, uh, and the doctor pretends she's got a wrist communicator. And look, her favorite pose. Ah, oh, hands up. Yeah, really. Uh, smug to the Daleks a little bit, said, hey, we're going we're gonna to beat you. And he, they destroy him again. <laughs> they're bam, they're all gone. Fine. So they decide on this on, on this uh, loop to do the opposite. Just do the opposite of what they... And that way, the Daleks won't know which... Why don't the Daleks just put 100 Daleks there if they want to kill her? Really? I, or blow up the building, right? From orbit, right? I, like, like yeah, somebody who wanted to do something would do. Because this is children's TV. This is not... There is no real thinking going on here. Uh, so she, in this loop, calls her mother and just says, I love you, because she's nice to her for some reason. Uh, Nick puts all her weird, creepy uh, uh, mementos in uh, behind a bar uh, makes a boundary of it, and the Dalek blows it up and says, yeah, that's great therapy. I burnt all the stuff, all my victim stuff. Uh, and then uh, the Dalek kills Nick, uh, uh, and he feels much better for it. Uh, LCB uh, does a, a Doctor impersonation and gets killed. Uh, and the Dalek shows up in Jeff's apartment and kills uh, Dr. Yaz and Dan. Final loop! Thank God! Thank God it's nearly over. Uh, where are we up to? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, fine, we're over here. 
So then uh, she's, the, the doctor asked her to call her mother, get her to call her 10 seconds before midnight. Yeah, that's going to happen. And she, she said, look, my mother's an you know, old batty woman. She won't work out to do that. She says, oh, our lives depend on it. So, okay, so another leap. The Dalek appears, teleports in, and they run uh, to the basement with all the... They, somehow they're able to go to the top floor and get all the chemicals and run downstairs and bring it downstairs and Daleks chase them. They keep shooting at them. They can't... Look how clear a line of sight they have. And they can't kill them, right? No, no, no. So now they all go uh, get the chemicals. They go downstairs. They set up with the fireworks. Uh, and the judge yeah, looks at the doctor. Oh, she's so stunning, so brave. Um, and you do get a feeling they're, they're, that they're about to... Uh, uh, you know, deal with their feelings for, for each other. The doctor sets up the, uh, a phone on it uh, uh, and, uh, and then makes the lights go out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a grand plan. And everybody runs out uh, and they get to the... Oh, there, so the, once the light goes out, the Daleks uh, uh, activate Dalek Dark Vision Mode. Yes, I know. Um, the, uh, and the, uh, uh, the phone rings 10 seconds to midnight. Just as they're all getting out of the building, the door that was locked now isn't locked anymore for some reason. We don't. It, it, why? Why did they bother stop and saying, "Oh, that door's locked," and now they say, "Now they they completely ignore it." I don't know. They all get out. Just as uh, his, her mother phones the Daleks, because the Daleks are just dummies. Uh, uh, um, assume that the, the, this is the the Doctor, uh, human detected, and they fire and they blow up all the chemicals and the fireworks uh, and making a bad bit of CGI of the building collapsing, right? And it collapses on the Daleks, which kill them somehow. I don't know how that kills a Dalek, but that kills Daleks. Uh, making a huge firework display at the same time. They oh, look at the fireworks. Oh, so pretty. And then Nick and Sarah look into each other's eyes longingly, and the doctor looks over it. He has, he goes, mm, I fancy some sushi. Oh, boy. Mm, my, my mouth feels a bit dry. Why? Because I want to be eating carpet. Uh, and looks over at Yaz, and Dan looks on and said, yeah, I think I've done a good job there. TARDIS now is reset. Only only took five minutes, apparently. Only took five minutes. Uh, uh, and, oh, and you could just see there are dead bits of dead Dalek casing over here. So, yeah, whatever evil industrialists will want, want to get that. You know, get, although we're not seeing Chris Noth again, him, because he's been outed as been me too now. But, like, okay, whatever, whatever. Doesn't really matter. And a guy looks up and sees a free firework display, and he's happy. And they go in the TARDIS, and, and you expect it to be renewed. It's identical. It looks, it looks freaking identical. And she's all excited. And she's like, oh, you're going to tell me. What, what was it you meant before? Is it because the doctor was saying before, oh, I can't let you get hurt for my decisions. Oh, no, stop my little feeties. Can't do that. Uh, and she says, well, what did you mean? Then? Oh, I never said anything. No, no, no. Uh, uh, and so essentially the doctor is embarrassed to say that she wants to shag Yaz. And, she, and Yaz is embarrassed to say she wants to shag the doctor. Um, in my video tomorrow, in video tomorrow, I'm going to be doing Going With News. We have very we had a hundred percent accurate spoilers for this story and uh, predicting the uh, uh, the um, sea devils and uh, also how how this love story ends uh, with with the doctor's re uh, regeneration, uh, which I totally believe. Uh, Dan looks on saying, "Oh, I think this could the beginning beginning of a beautiful friendship," and the doctor like goes off. And then uh, uh, Sarah Elsing B is ha goes off happily with weird serial killer. Now they're very rich. Now her, her building's been blown up that she wasn't making any money with and didn't have any uh, 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 any uh, uh, customers. And this one guy who has this tiny little room who's a serial killer, uh, uh, now they're very rich apparently and they're going to go travel the world. She says the only thing stopping her before was she didn't have anybody to do it with. Uh, so now he does. And they drive off in the taxi as the TARDIS flies overhead. Oh, very nice. And... Uh yeah, so they do go full, full, uh, absolutely full, uh, full on a phasm in there, and then, and then, here, let's let's watch this. We have the trailer for we have a twenty second trailer for the next episode. Is over here. Well, we'll we'll watch this together. We'll see a bit bit of uh, uh, sea devil action. Madam King, Pirate Queen. She killed my father, and she released the demon. Sea devil. Yeah, see, that looks a bit crap. I have to tell you, it does look a bit crap, doesn't it? 
Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. 3.1 overnight. How embarrassing, right? Look, this era has failed. This era has failed. I, I, I don't know how to say it more often or clearer, but listen, the next video I'm recording is about uh, is about the movie called Don't Look Up, which I recommend to everyone, which is how people live in delusion. That is what the entirety of that movie is, about people living in delusion, which they do. Which they do. Uh, Doctor Who proves it. And also don't, uh, I'm glad I watched Don't Look Up last night because... Uh, uh, at least it may, may, it may at least I watched something good that, that, that last night as well so anyway tomorrow tons of spoilers uh, tons of reviews uh, uh, lots of stuff coming check back at me check back at me tomorrow I've watched Doctor Who so you haven't thank God we're off for a few months and only two more to go only two more to go yes yes we may we may just survive this will Doctor Who survive this I'm thinking probably I'm thinking it's going to be erased from reality and, and it can't come quick enough. My name's Fila Beck and you are away from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe. Join my Substack and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.